What's up guys, Falcon here again. Today we're working on a 07 Jetta Volkswagen. Issue we're having today is the door lock actuator on the rear, left side or driver side doesn't work. We lock the car, unlock it, but this door doesn't lock or unlock. So gonna replace the door lock actuator. So now we need to take off the outer shell to get to it right here so you need to take off this plastic trim right here and then we're gonna see some t30s and t25 bolts we're gonna find them all around on the bottom too there's a couple more for example you see one there see another one there so they're gonna be all around maybe start off on this side once you get over here, maybe leave one or two on, that way the whole shell doesn't come off. Also, gotta be careful when you pull it out that we don't scratch this right here with the other door. So first off, we need to take this off. So start off by taking off this plastic. All right, so took off the plastic trim. Right here, we're gonna have a T20. I'm gonna take it off. The bolt is not gonna come all the way out, it's gonna have like a clip, it's not gonna let it fall off, so just unscrew it so, so you feel it gets a little bit tighter and then we should be able to pull this out once we pull it out, should be able to undo the latch and then this one should slide straight out this Alright, so we took off the plastic trim right here we're gonna have a T20 I'm gonna take it off the bolt is not gonna come all the way out, it's gonna have like a clip, it's not gonna let it fall off, so just unscrew it so, so you feel it gets a little bit tighter and then we should be able to pull this out once we pull it out, should be able to undo the latch and then this one should slide straight out this way undo that bolt, I don't think you can really see it anyways was able to pull this piece out here which is this one pull straight out then this one there's this the latch grab it right here basically just clicks on here all you gotta do is pull it straight out and then this one becomes loose pull it out and then we're gonna do this torques right here all right, here we go. Door skin is off. So, all T30s all around. It even has, what is it, two, four on the bottom, right here. This is along the hinge of the body. It goes right there. Um, there's one, kind of looks hidden. It's gonna be behind here, behind the harness, so. I missed that one, but get it back there and then when you pull it off just be careful not to scratch up right here so there it is skin is off so now slowly I'm gonna start taking all this apart move this one out of the way make sure you take pictures or write down the way everything goes this one just pulls straight out it just has a well on this one it has like a little almost like a rubber band just holding it in place move that out of the way what I'm trying to get is this here so after this I should be able just to take the three screws right here on the side which are t30s I believe should be able to pull it out took out the two screws on the side they're actually not t30 they're this special one here size 6 I think it's a six millimeter so took it off pulled it out has this one connector here on that connector which is this one you want to put a flathead screwdriver here and this tab right here pull it back or down and you should be able to pull it out as far as here you need to unhook this whole thing from here you're gonna pull it straight up and then I hook it from here and then we're gonna move it to the other side because we're gonna need this little 
latch and then we're gonna put this dust shield on the new pre on the new part before we put everything back on there we go this is the new one this is the old one so as far as the this plastic cover it has like three clips all around let's see if I can show them to you one there um, this one right here and then that one back there you gotta like get a flathead screwdriver and get it in there once we take this off then that way I can put it on the new one and then this piece put it on the here it is the took it off very important about this is that you cannot just pull it straight back you need to turn it and slide it down if you look at it you go see in a certain way so you try to pull it down you're just gonna break this and then you're gonna have to buy a new one so sideways and then pull it straight down so now we're gonna install it here same thing go see in sideways and then all right here up. we go got the new part ready to go ready to go in so I'm gonna be installing it so just put this hook back on the other hook also once everything's bolted on connect it up be really careful when putting in the what they call the skin and then put it in a couple of bolts to hold it in place before you do all the rest be careful not to scratch it up here and then just follow everything in reverse order and there you go thanks subscribe